This is the typical cone graphic that we most commonly use in hurricane forecasting. It is what we use to determine the possible path of the storm. Well, this year the cone will be a little bit different. It'll be three to five percent narrower than it was in 2024. And this change is a result of improved accuracy in predicting the paths of tropical cyclones over the last five years. So we take a look here of a comparison from 2004 with Hurricane Ivan to 2024. We can see just just how much smaller that cone has gotten in that time span. Now the cone is meant to display where the storm's center may go and how big the storm is. The evolution in width over the years of the cone shows how much more accurate forecasters at the National Hurricane Center have been of pinpointing centers of tropical cyclones. The tools and the forecasting has certainly improved over, over the stretch of my 20 plus year career. Uh, especially in regards to hurricane track forecasting, we have made significant improvements in hurricane track forecasting. Whereas nowadays, you know, you know, 24 hours out, we're 30 to 50 miles in forecast there. That's remarkable, uh, considering that you know when I started my career, that was that was unheard of to be that that close. Based on social science research, the cone itself is often the main focus to the public, which disregards the much broader impact storm can unleash outside of the cone's boundaries. Therefore, the NHC will also be color coding inland areas based on if they are included in a tropical storm watch or hurricane warning in anticipation of the storm's arrival. So we can see here on this map where those areas well outside of the cones path are in those colors that indicate that they also do have those risks as that storm does move on to land. So this will help address the misconception that risk only lie within the cone and help those who might reside outside of the cones path be aware of impacts that could also include their areas such as high winds, flooding, tornadoes, and storm surge. So the highlighted watch and warning zones will help enhance storm preparation, ensuring areas outside of the cone are not caught off guard.